Hi there, welcome back. So in the last video we understood what is ClickHouse Cloud and the overview and also how can we set up ClickHouse Cloud in Azure. In today's topic we are going to check how can we deploy the ClickHouse Cloud service in Amazon Web Services AWS. So let's dive in and create the service. So in the AWS console, if you're doing a test trial, first of all, you need to check which agreement you are on with AWS. So right now, first I'll go to billing and cost management. Under here, go to the payment preferences. In here, you can see my default payment preference is electronic fund transfer, pay by invoice. So if you are using this for testing, you need to have this pay by invoice. You can get this by connecting to the AWS support and ask them to convert your default payment matter from credit card or debit card to the pay by invoice. So if you are good with this option, you can proceed with searching with ClickHouse Cloud in the search bar. So you will find the service under marketplace. Here it is. You should select the service by sold by ClickHouse. Next to view purchase options. So under purchase options for the testing purposes, I'll not auto renew this contract and I'll stick to one month. And I'll choose one credit and create contract. So let's close this and see if the service is enabled. So it's getting activated. Let's wait for a minute. Meanwhile, it's getting activated. Let's check if we can go to the setup account page. Okay, so it has taken me to the login page. I have an ID already, so I'll just log in. So people who are trying to access it first time, you need to register. So I'll use my existing ID. So during activation, I need to give up my billing address. I'll just put up a random here for my test. Next complete sign up. So now I'm in the ClickHouse Cloud portal. So I'll select a service, no service created as of now. So I'll click on create new service, choose AWS. So AWS is already coming. So I'll click on region and select any of the presented region. I'll select Mumbai and a name Mumbai. So I'll click on development and production according to my needs. For now I'll click on development and create service. For now I'll not add IP addresses. I'll choose, you can connect to this service from anywhere. Next continue. I'll download the database credentials, continue. So you can see my ClickHouse service is created and it's being provisioned. Let's wait until this is provisioned. All right, so service is provisioned. Now let's see what options we get in service size. So right now my service is in development. So I cannot change the vertical scaling and the number of nodes. I can change the idling option. So after let's say after five minutes, it, it's automatically going to idle down when the service is not in use and we can save the cost on the resource. In the backup configurations, we have every 24 hours and the retention is one day. And for the security purposes, we can add the IPs so that we can access the service from that particular IPs only. We can reset the password, we can stop and delete the service from here. Now this is all about the service, how can we create in AWS and let's see how can we set up the private endpoint in AWS. For that, let's go to organization and the private endpoint, add new endpoint. We'll select our service AWS and the region where we created the service in Mumbai. So we can see this option which is coming up here. We'll click on copy and let's go back to the AWS portal. We use the private connectivity service to have a private connection from your AWS cloud provider to the ClickHouse cloud. Go to sign into the account. To set up the private endpoint in AWS, we need to have a VPC. Let's see if we have a VPC in the Mumbai region. Select the VPC. I'll go to endpoint. I'll create endpoint. I'll give a name. I'll select the category under other endpoint services and under service name you need to paste the value which you copied from here verify service so it's verified i'll select the vpc i'm going to tie it to i'm just using a default one I've sel i'll select all of my subnets as well so under security group you need to make sure that the following port needs to be opened which is 9440 and 8443 so i've selected the security group create endpoint So now it's created, I'll go to the endpoint ID and click on actions. 
uh, let's wait for now until this is created and we'll click on actions and enable dns so this is provisioned and let's go to the id and see the actions modify private dns name i'll enable for this endpoint so meanwhile it's been created let's go to the endpoint id and copy this value let's go back to the private endpoint and we need to paste the value in here and create endpoint all right so it's created now this alone won't attach itself automatically to the service we need to go back to the service and under service click on settings all right so i can see it's not giving me an option to select the private endpoint for a development tier i need to select the production one so right now i cannot upgrade to productions so i'll just create a new one So now for the same region, it can use the same endpoint ID. So I'll go to the service, which I just created for production. And I'll go to this option, private endpoint, setup, I'll choose my ID and create endpoint. Now the private endpoint is ID to the service successfully. Now I'll go to this option. So now you can see this DNS name. This DNS name will resolve to your private endpoint and you can have the private connection from your AWS to the ClickHouse Cloud. So that's how you can set up ClickHouse Cloud in AWS. To know about ClickHouse Cloud and how can we set up in Azure, you can watch my previous video. Thank you for joining in and stay tuned for the next one.